what is this Tuesday morning I'm up here on top of beautiful George's Cove Mountain in Holyrood Newfoundland which is where we live and which is where my studio is and today I'm here to announce winner number three in my four-week canvas print giveaway uh, so let me show you what prize is up for the draw today Ta -da! yes we had to hike this up the mountain and uh, along with the other ones so you will appreciate our effort so today we are drawing for this canvas print of my painting called the space between and uh, yeah so we have about I think it's over a thousand entries in my contest so far so thank you very much for everybody entering uh, it's amazing like over a thousand anyhow so this one's up for the draw today so this is prize number three so I am now going to show you the prizes that we've already drawn for so the first week was my painting of night owls which is Gower Street, downtown St. John's at night. And Besh and I were sauntering home from downtown up to my mom's place and the scene caught my eye and next thing I knew I was painting it. Then the next week, which was last week, I drew for Newfoundland to me, which is the Anglican Cathedral and the rock wall and fence of the gorgeous Masonic Hall, which is also uh, the home of Spirit of Newfoundland. So if you've never been to a Spirit of Newfoundland dinner and show, go there because it's awesome. And it's everything Newfoundland that you could ever want. We always take our visitors there. So uh, here you go. That was last week. Newfoundland to me. And then like I said, this week is the space between. And the final week is going to be a, a larger print of this, and I do have the larger print this week, but we thought maybe we'll just schlep this one up the mountain rather than the 10 by 31 inch that will be the actual grand prize on Mother's Day. All right, so let's see. Let's just look at the view for a second. Look at Holyrood. Isn't it gorgeous? Ta-da! So many fun things to do here. We go sailing here with our friends because what's better than owning a boat? Having friends that own boats. Yes. Thanks to Jason and Dean and everybody out there with gorgeous boats that we get to hang out on. And uh, really when we're out on the boats, I do nothing but drink beer. All the boys get up and twist their ropes and make the sails happen. And it's the best way I like to sail. Oh, and if you've never been to Holy Road, you should come visit. It's gorgeous. And there's lots of hiking. Check out Butterpot Mountain. Wicked hike up there. We do that all the time. And we take a lot of our uh, CFAs come from a ways up there for the hike. It's about a three hours in and out. Maybe four hours if you want to take pictures like I still do every time. You'd think I'd have it all photographed, but it's so gorgeous. I just keep going. What are you saying? Golf course. Oh, and there's golf course. The, the what's it called? The wilds. The wilds. No, it's not the wilds. It's the other one. Not the wilds. The something that starts with a W. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, it's a really good golf course. You can tell how much we golf. None. I'm more. Uh, I'm more sailing and uh, yeah. more action sports. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, this is Holyrood. This is where we live. And on a sunny day, I mean, you can see forever. This is Holyrood Harbor. It's at the bottom of Conception Bay, which is just this deep, 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 deep bay down in the east coast of Newfoundland. And this is the Atlantic Ocean. So if you've never seen the Atlantic Ocean, ta-da! All right, so let's draw our name for this week's prize okay so this is the space between which is a painting of the east end of downtown st john's and one day besh and i were twacking around downtown and we were just taking shots and of course we're always looking for painting uh, references and i never know what's going to catch my eye 
because you know we'll just look through our photos of the day and all of a sudden it'll be like oh my god that's the one so this one caught my eye and I called it the space between because when I was painting it I realized that the things that are of the most interest to me are not often like the main actual buildings it's the space in between them you know maybe it's the artist in me and uh, so I like the space in between the windows, like this window here, the, the view goes all the way through this window and out through a side window. I like all of these unusual little spaces and I like all these little clips of things in here. Anyhow, so this was, uh, this reference shot was taken from uh, the old fire hall, which is in the east end of St. John's, which by the way, is now being turned into a brewery. <laughs> What's better than a fire hall? A brewery. <laughs> Anyhow, the uh, fire hall has been abandoned for a while now. And we just climbed up, or actually Besh climbed up on the steps to the side of it and just took a picture overlooking, uh, this is Wood Street. And just caught the picture of, I mean, look at the colors, like, oh, so good. Look, 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 only downtown St. John's really has colors like this. I really think every town should think about doing it. Imagine Mississauga looking like this. Anyhow, so uh, I painted this in maybe 2007, maybe 2007 when we still lived in Ontario before we moved back home in 2009. And the original painting of this, so it, it was acrylic on canvas. And like I said, this is a canvas print of the original painting, which is ready to hang so when the winner gets this in the mail all they have to do is put a little nail in the wall with a head on it and it hooks on here and it's ready to go and they're pretty lightweight and uh, they look like the original painting almost except the original was like four by five feet or something so it was big and uh, in this painting I also use charcoal which is not my normal medium so all this was charcoal and then drippy acrylic paints over the top of it. And it was a very gestural, uh, expressive painting. Um, a lot of times I get lost in detail, which is one of my favorite things too. But this one I kept looser and I wanted to have the buildings feel like they were dancing and flowing. And out came the space between. Oh yeah, and the space between name, when I was looking at the spaces in between and falling all in love with them. Uh, I was also really into the Dave Matthews band and his song, The Space Between, is one of my favorites. So it's sort of my homage to Dave Matthews. Oh, so anyhow, so uh, today I have my drum roll with me. So without further ado, I love saying that. It sounds so, I don't know, prizey. So without further ado, let's announce. And the winner of the space between for this week's prize is Ed Fitzgerald. Yeah! Way to go, Ed. Thank you for entering. And Ed entered by joining my piece of pie email list, which uh, let me tell you, I put a lot of effort into my newsletters every two weeks. So uh, this week I'll be sending out on Thursday, it'll be behind the brush. And behind the brush is the story behind uh, a painting. So each behind the brush I send out is the story behind why I painted a certain painting and it'll be a different one every month. And then two weeks after that, I send out my newsletter, which is uh, just keeping you up to date on what's on the go. I give you like a summary of what's happened for the month and what's happening in my studio, maybe some hikes. Take you around Newfoundland with me and show you my adventures. So even if you never leave your living room, you can still explore Newfoundland with me and us. Uh, so, okay, so Ed Fitzgerald, you win this canvas print. I will get this in the mail for you uh, in the next couple of days. And uh, so now, so like I said, first week was I forget the name of it. Night Owls. And this went to Trudy Spurl in Borden, Ontario, Base Borden, where Besh used to be posted. 
Last week was Newfoundland to me, which went to Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn! <laughs> in Beta Burton, Newfoundland. Mary Lynn Power. Maybe. Yeah. Anyhow, Mary Lynn, you know who you are. And this week, Ed Fitzgerald ah. for the Space Between. Okay. And then next. No, this weekend, actually, this Sunday, I will be doing the draw for a 10 by 31 inch of my most popular Newfoundland painting, which is blowing in the wind. And as a reminder, it's Mother's Day. So if you're not lucky enough to win this on Mother's Day to give to your mom, you can go to any of the retail stores here in St. John's and at the Crow's Nest in Twillingate. So. This is available at the Down Home, the Weavery, uh, O'Brien's, and Wink down on Water Street and Duckworth Street. Uh, they have these there because if you order from my website, you will not get it in time for Mother's Day. It takes about two weeks for these prints to arrive if you order them from my website. And you can get the this and those prints in like huge. We've had an eight foot one in our stairwell and it's just huge. It's gorgeous. It fills a big space, you know, rather than having to have a whole lot of little tiny ones to like clutter up your space. You can just get a really large canvas print shipped right to your door. It's ready to hang, very easy to hang. So yeah, you can get your very own blowing in the wind if you don't win it. But I do hope you win it. <laughs> so if you haven't entered already, get in there and either sign up for my newsletter, visit my Facebook page, and you can also retweet the contest. So there's a whole bunch of different ways you can enter the contest and you can do all three, which means you get three entries, which is a way better chance of winning. So anyhow, I'm still out of breath from hiking up the mountain and now talking a mile a minute. So anyhow, thank you very much to everybody who has entered the contest. Thanks for everybody commenting on my page and uh, commenting on my posts and saying all kinds of nice things of how my artwork affects your life. It means a lot to me and it keeps me going and it makes me want to do foolish videos like this and haul my cameraman all the way up here with these prints. Uh, it's actually just a good excuse really to get outside, be creative and have fun. Anyhow, I will see you online. Thanks again for everything and uh, get outside. Enjoy the sunshine. Love you all. Bye.